after studying this module you shall be able to evaluate the concept of addiction know and understand the concept of drug abuse and dependence learn the criteria for identification for the pathology identify the implications of addiction the spate in the issue of substance abuse across the world has drawn the attention both publicly and scientifically the increasing prevalence of the same and its hazardous effect has invited attention of almost the entire medical and paramedical fraternity nevertheless it becomes extremely important to understand the bio psychosocial roots of addiction considering the psychological perspective addiction is viewed as a disorder of altered cognition drugs carry capacity to seriously alter various functions such as attention memory perception reasoning inhibitory control etc that contain cognitive components with continued drug use cognitive uh, fluctuations surface that reinforce the drug abuse and hinder factors that promote abstinence reviewing the neurological perspective drug use is believed to alter the functioning of the brain regions such as prefrontal cortex striatum amygdala and hippocampus consequently effects are primarily viewed in areas of executive functions attention and memory declarative memory involved in the construction of self esteem seems to be strongly affected by the use of drugs such alterations thus strongly hypothesize the robust link between addiction and cognition since in the previous modules the concept of cognition is deeply discussed in the present module we will primarily focus on introduction of the concept of addiction causes and treatment in the coming modules the vital link between cognition and addiction in vicious circularity of cause and effect will be extensively explored now let us come to drug abuse disorder drug abuse disorder occurs primarily when a person displays physiological need for a substance that is for a drug to function normally further abruptly stopping the substance leads to withdrawal symptoms alcohol abuse and dependence are major problems and are among the most destructive of the psychiatric disorders like majority of other mental health problems drug abuse and addiction have no single cause however there are a number of risk factors that increase the likelihood of developing a dependency disorder addiction is a multifactorial disease caused by predisposing and precipitating factors it emerges out of interaction between host person addicted to the substance agent the drug and environmental determinants in the nutshell people who are more likely to abuse or become dependent to drugs include those who have depression bipolar disorder anxiety disorder or schizophrenia those who have easy access to drugs those with low self esteem or problems with relationship are also likely to use drugs and those who live a stressful life or live in a culture where there is high acceptance of drug use is accepted and is prevalent they may also fall prey to these the symptoms vary and the treatment for the same 
is mainly eclectic. Let us con uh, come to the concept of addiction. The conventional concept of addiction is characterized by tolerance, withdrawal and cravings. It is recognized by a person's heightened and habituated need for a substance. While in some cases addiction achieves a devastating pathological extremity, it actually represents a continuum of feeling and behavior more than it does a distinct disease state. Jaff defined addiction as a behavioral pattern of drug abuse characterized by overwhelming involvement with the use of a drug which is often a compulsive use of that drug, the security of its supply and a high tendency to relapse after withdrawal. The hallmark of addiction is the addicted individual's willingness to sacrifice everything to the point of self-destruction to take the drug. A range of factors influence an individual's susceptibility to addiction. Cultural and historical variants prove to be the most potent followed by biological and personal factors. Addiction is thus a primary chronic biological disease with genetic, psychosocial and environmental factors influencing its development and manifestation. The four C's of addiction are loss of control over use, continued use despite knowledge of harmful consequences, compulsion to use and craving. Let us now come to addictive behavior. An addictive behavior represents an activity, substance, object or behavior that becomes the major focus of a person's life thereby hampering the normal day obligations. Addictive behavior is primarily based on the pathological needs of a substance or any activity that may involve the, subs the abuse of substances such as nicotine, alcohol, cocaine and so forth. Such a form of behavior is both pervasive and destructive. It is undertaken mainly to alleviate the pain and agony deriving from certain emotions and eventually leads to dependence. Tolerance is either marked by decreased effect of the substance or a need to significantly increase the amount of substance used in order to achieve the same desired effect. Withdrawal is defined as either physical or psychological sign or symptom consistent with withdrawal from a specific drug or taking that drug or one chemically close to that drug in order to avoid developing symptoms of withdrawal. Let us now see the concept of drug and its use and abuse. The World Health Organization defines drug as any substance which introduced into the living organism can modify one or more functions. The presence of drugs in many civilization goes back to time immemorial. It is essential to delineate the use of a drug from its abuse. Drug use is understood as consumption of a drug that does not impact the health negatively. The consumption of a drug becomes abusive at the appearance of dependence a set of psychological, physiological, behavioral and cognitive manifestations in which the use of a drug is a priority for the individual. The term is linked usually to tolerance or the need to consume more of a substance to achieve the effects of previous consumption. When the dependent person does not consume the drug, 
withdrawal symptoms tend to appear. They represent a set cluster of symptoms that affect the individual deprived of the toxic agent. Such symptoms vary depending on the intensity, duration and other factors. All in all, dependence is a state of adaptation of the organism to the presence of a drug and is manifested by the appearance of intense physical discomfort which includes tremors, chills, insomnia, vomiting, pain, etc. Psychological dependence refers to a situation in which a person feels an optimal need and urge to consume a drug on a regular basis in order to feel good and be satisfied although he or she does not need the substance physiologically. It is more like an emotional need. This may be associated with different contexts or social backgrounds. Persistent use of drugs proves harmful. They act on the central nervous system affecting the neural receptors and the synaptic transmission. Let us now try to delineate the difference between drug use, drug abuse and drug dependence. You can see it that drug use means consuming a drug from time to time. Drug abuse means consuming the drug despite its adverse effects and drug dependence means building a tolerance for the drug then which is characterized by withdrawal. When we look at the DSM criteria for substance dependence and substance abuse disorder, a maladaptive pattern of substance, substance use leading to clinically significant distress or impairment as manifested by at least three of the situations occurring at any time in the 12 month period. These situations are tolerance is defined by either a need for increased amount of the substance to achieve intoxication or desired effect or diminished effect with continued use of the same amount of substance. Withdrawal as manifested by either the characteristic withdrawal syndrome for the substance or same or closely related substance is taken to relieve or avoid withdrawal symptoms. Substance is often taken in larger amounts or over a longer period than was intended. Persistent desire or unsuccessful effort to cut down or control substance abuse. The person spends a great deal of time engaging in activities necessary to obtain the substance, use substance or recover from its effects. The person has given up or reduced the amount of important social, occupational or recreational activities because of substance abuse. Continued substance use despite persistent or recurrent physical or psychological problem caused by exacerbated by the substance, substance abuse disorder. A maladaptive pattern of substance use leading to clinically significant impairment or distress as manifested by at least one of the following occurring within a 12 month period which includes recurrent substance use that result in a failure to fulfill some major role obligations at work, school and home, recurrent substance use in situations in which it is physically hazardous like driving, recurrent substance related legal problems for instance arrest for disorderly conduct, continued substance use despite persistent or recurrent social and interpersonal problems caused by exacerbated by the effects of the substance. 
person has never had symptoms or problems that have met the criteria for substance dependence for the class of substance. Addictive disorders such as alcohol or drug abuse are among the most widespread mental health problems confronted by the society. Addictive or substance related disorders pave way for conditions that involve organic impairments. These conditions stem from toxicity, the poisonous nature of the substance or physiological changes in the brain due to vitamin deficiency. Addiction affects physiologically by decreasing the sexual inhibition and simultaneously lowering sexual performance. Lapses in the memory are also observed frequently. In addition, chronic fatigue, oversensitivity and depression are common. Drug addiction is not a simple problem. It complicates an individually, physiologically, socially and economically. It has implications on individual, his or her family and the overall society. Addiction is characterized by the compulsive use of a substance despite its negative effects. We had studied it earlier also. So drug addiction puts its sufferers at risk for potentially grave social, occupational and medical complications. It increases the risk of domestic violence in families. Addiction eventually leads to dependence. Drug dependence means that a person needs a drug to function normally. Abruptly stopping the drug leads to withdrawal symptoms. Abuse and dependence is associated with over half the deaths and major injuries suffered in automobile accidents each year. Frequent consumption of drugs significantly lowers performance on cognitive tasks such as problem solving and other complex tasks. Thus, the potentially detrimental effects of addiction for an individual, his or her loved ones and society are lesion. The lifespan of an average person with alcohol dependence is about 12 years shorter than that of the average person without this disorder. Now let us talk about the treatment. Before starting any intervention plan, it is important to screen the following which include ruling out or diagnosing any physical disorder or psychiatric disorder, evaluation of motivation for treatment, assessment of personality characteristics of the patient, checking status of current and past social, interpersonal and occupational functioning. The treatment can be broadly classified into two types which are often overlinked. These are detoxification and treatment of alcohol dependence. In detoxification, the treatment alternative focuses on withdrawal of alcohol symptoms that is symptoms produced by the removal of the toxin or alcohol. The method suggests that the most appropriate way to withdraw from any type of addiction is to do it just suddenly than gradually. The usual duration of uncomplicated withdrawal symptom is 7 to 14 days and the most strong challenge for the intervention is to manage such withdrawal symptoms. This intervention also includes drug treatment used in a standardized protocol with the dosage gradually decreasing every day before being dropped usually on the 10th day. In addition, vitamins such as vitamin B specifically should be administered and care of hydration should also be taken. Although detoxification can be achieved 
in outpatient basis some patients require hospitalized hospitalization as well these patients may show following signs signs of impending delirium tremor automatic hyperactivity disorientation or perceptual abnormalities psychiatric symptoms or disorders which include mood disorders schizophrenia suicidal ideation and or attempts of suicide other alcohol induces neuro psychiatric disorders or any physical illness caused by chronic alcohol use or incidental inability to stop alcohol in the setting of home detoxification is the first step in treatment of alcohol dependence after the step of detoxification is over there are several methods to choose from for further management these are behavior therapy the most commonly used behavior therapy is aversion therapy involving sub threshold electric shock the other technique of therapy includes covert sensitization relaxation techniques assertive training self control skills including positive reinforcement these have been either used alone or in combination with aversion therapy then psychotherapy supportive psychotherapy and individual psychotherapy are suggested with such patients the patients should be educated about the risk of continuing alcohol use asked to resume personal responsibility for change and given a choice of option for change group therapy this involves creating and working with voluntary self help groups such as aa which is alcoholic anonymous with branches all over the world and a membership in hundreds of thousands although the approach is partly religious in nature many patients derive benefit from group meetings which are generally non professional deterrent agents the deterrent agents are also called alcohol sensitizing drugs such as disulfiram in sensitive patients who have ingested large amounts of alcohol this use can be threatening if not monitored in proper way therefore the treatment has to be given in patient hospital setting usually after a challenge test with alcohol to demonstrate that unpleasant and dangerous side effects occur if alcohol or alcohol containing drink is used while treatment is continued with the drug drug treatment a variety of anti craving agents antidepressants antipsychotics and mood stabilizers are used to deal with such patients anti craving medicines can prove to reduce the urge for substance while antidepressants can be used to deal with feeling of lowness and emptiness inside mood stabilizers are also used to deal with intense fluctuation of the mood and aggression also medications are generally combined with psychosocial rehabilitation to make the intervention most effective let us quickly summarize what we have just studied a drug is simply a chemical substance that has known biological effects on humans and or animals drug abuse and dependence are among the most widespread mental health problems faced today the conventional concept of addiction is characterized by tolerance withdrawal and cravings it is recognized by a person's heightened and habituated need for a substance while in some cases addiction achieves a devastating pathological extremity it actually represents a continuum of feeling and behavior more than it does a distinct disease state 
consumption of drugs is dangerous not only because they impair physically but also limit cognitively many problems of drug use involves difficulties that stem solely from the intoxicating effect of the substance dependence occurs when an individual develops a tolerance for the substance or exhibits withdrawal symptoms when the substance is not available a number of factors are considered important in the etiology of drug abuse and dependence implications of addiction are intense the treatment of the same involves focusing on detoxification and use of psychotherapy before starting any intervention plan it is important to screen or rule out or diagnose any physical disorder or psychiatric disorder evaluate motivation for treatment assess personality characteristics of a patient and check the status of current and past social interpersonal and occupational functioning